welcome back to Anime Cons TV. As usual, I'm Doug Wilder, and today we're here with one of the kind of legends of voice <laughs> acting, uh, Tony Oliver, so to dog. talk about convention experiences and how things have changed over time and mm -hmm. everything like that. Uh, first question I would like to ask is, what was your first convention? My first convention was back in the early 80s. It was actually a, uh, a creation convention. It was a Star Trek Robotech convention, and it was, uh, it was quite surprising. <laughs> I'd, never really been to, I'd never been to a con. There wasn't the con business as, mm -hmm. it, as it exists now. And uh, when they, they called me kind of last minute because uh, Reba couldn't be there. And um, I expected uh, to walk into a room with like 20 kids, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, and enjoy the afternoon, and it was uh, it was at a hotel right next to Disneyland. So I figured afterwards, after the interview, I'll go to Disneyland. You know, uh, I walk in there, and it's just a mass of people. Um, <laughs> it's a Star Trek convention too, so there's Klingons everywhere. <laughs> and um, and uh, and they they grabbed me, and they said, you know, we'll stand back behind this door, and when you walk in, the stage is to your right. Go ahead, and, and when you're introduced, go on in, do your thing, and then security will escort you out the front. I went, security. <laughs> So I, uh, so they announced me. I walked in, and there's 500 people in this room screaming. Most of them college students, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and it was it was terrifying because uh, I'd not done that before, and I wasn't really prepared for that. Anyway, I did my thing. Fortunately, Harmony Gold was very nice to give me some slides of the upcoming show Sentinels that we were doing, and uh, so I. I did that, and a security escorted me out the front, and they plopped me down in a chair for autographs, and I'm sitting right next to James Doohan, Scotty. <laughs> wow. So <laughs> No pressure. So here, I'm trying to be the cool actor. Hi, thank you, and you know, I'm signing autographs. And meanwhile, I'm geeking out because Scotty's <laughs> sitting next to me. He turned out to be a really nice guy, though. So, okay. um, so you, you said you started going to conventions in the 80s, mm -hmm. and here we are several decades later. What has you noticed has changed, like either for good or for ill? Well, it's all for good. I mean, the, the whole con culture is, is grown into something that isn't just for the, the, the old style, stereotypical <laughs> anime fan, you know, uh, socially inept person, you know, uh, sitting in, in their basement. Uh, that's kind of what that was like originally. And now it's mainstream so much that you see every different kind of person at the con. Um, and it's also become a little bit more of a celebration and less of a fan moment. So, uh, so uh, you know, I go to cons now, and you know, the people who don't even watch the shows I do, but they're just, they're happy because we're doing anime and the cosplay and all that stuff. So it's really developed into quite a, I think, a really lovely social event mm -hmm. now. It, you know, people sometimes call like some of the larger events kind of Geeks Burning Man or something like well, that. Well, yeah, <laughs> but 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 that's the thing. But there's every kind of person yeah. here. It's not just the 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 really every kind of person is here. Yeah. Is there a particular like favorite moment you have from your convention memories? Obviously, sitting next to Scotty has got to be pretty big. Yeah, up that was that pretty list. good. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's uh, they, every con has a has its thing. I remember being at a convention in Seattle, um, Skircon, and. Um, and uh, two things happened there that were really extraordinary. One, a man came to my autograph table. Um, he had just literally left the battlefield a few days before in Iraq wow. on his way home. And before going home, finally, he stopped at Khan to meet me. Wow. And that was extraordinary. <laughs> so I took him. We, we, I actually asked him to wait. I spent a couple hours with him, you know, listening to talk and, and what he had to say. And extraordinary. his stories were extraordinary. But while I was in the middle of doing that, the con, the head of the con comes up to me and says, uh, we have this girl here, and she's very shy. She's got issues, and, but she really loves what you do, and she really wants to meet you, but she's too freaked out. Can we do this out here where she can feel safer? So I said, yeah. And he brings up this girl, and she's very, very quiet and very shy and withdrawn, and obviously someone who has some issues in social situations. And I just kind of looked at her, and I said, do you want a hug? And she said, yeah. And I hugged her, and she burst into tears. Aww. And it was so, it's like, OK, this is why I do what I do. Yeah. This is why I go to cons. I always kind of say that some of the best encounters I have at cons are the ones I could never have expected, like just random conversation or whatever you yeah. have. Yeah. You know, you meet, you meet some great friends in lines or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I've met uh, extraordinary people, you know, uh, the, the soldiers that, because that, uh, Robotech, which is my mm -hmm. first show, um, is really popular with the U.S. military. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm meeting these soldiers coming right off the battlefield. I, and the, the, the people that, that otherwise would have nothing if they didn't, if anime didn't exist. Yeah. You know, these, this is, it's just a beautiful thing and I, I love that about uh, it. That, that is so awesome to hear. Um, and like you said, it's, it's come, become kind of that celebration and everything like that. Um, is there like anything that 
because every convention has its own mm -hmm. feel and everything like that. Is there anything that stands out as something you wish you could see more at conventions, like some type of event or anything like that? Well, um, conventions like uh, like this one, like Otakon, um, and uh, that are that are really fan oriented. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, that's what I like. I like, even though this is a huge convention, it's still very fan oriented. And so we, there's a lot of access granted to the fans, to us, to the, and, and they, they set up a lot of different ways for us to encounter each other. And I like that. I'd like to see more of that at some of the other cons that kind of protect. Yeah. And I understand why they kind of protect us and hide us, because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes people get a little over excited. <laughs> But nevertheless, I think that's the the best for us. That's the best thing. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, kind of more fan community, yeah. fans interacting. I love them. the community. I mean, it's nice to showcase, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, connecting with people is what yeah, makes yeah. The, look, the cons. You know, it's great to be a voice actor and and be treated like a celebrity <laughs> and all that stuff. But the con is for the fans. Mm -hmm. It's about them, and uh, as long the cons that remember that, and that ask their guests to remember that, I think are the best ones. All right, great. Um, and I know we have a kind of a limited window, yeah. but uh, the last thing I want to ask is people that want to find out more about what you're up to and mm -hmm. things like that, what's the best way for them to do that? Um, well, I just re finally relaunched my website. <laughs> so <laughs> TonyOliverEntertainment.com is one place to go, and there's usually a thing on the column, left column of my, with all the upcoming stuff. Or you can catch me on Facebook, Tony Oliver Voice Actor. Great. Well, thank you for taking the time to uh, meet with us and tell us about your convention Thanks experiences. Once again, thank you. Thank you very much.